The pipeline obviously enables you to do the storyboarding, all the way from storyboarding through advanced drawing tools with textures and morphing. A complete paperless pipeline. Now, the Simpsons and the Family Guy, etc., today are done totally paperlessly. These major studios are not going to be using paper much longer. And as a matter of fact, Francisco and I have been around long enough that we've been to the studios overseas where just 10 years ago the hallways were filled with paper and you just don't see that anymore. 2D, 3D integration is going to offer a tremendous amount of freedom with a lot of plugins to expand capabilities and of course output to multiple formats. So an example of some of the pipelines that have been implemented, this would be one from Alphanim, you may know from France, utilizing an Australian studio flying back and also a Chinese studio Golden Bridge, where you can see the areas of the production that Alphanim kept for themselves, compositing, final rendering, the storyboards, character design and layout. And then flying back did the key animation, digital special effects and clean up and in between and coloring going to Golden Bridge in Beijing. And this particular project, Saint Apprentice, was a feature film done fully paperless. This is in fact a quote from the CEO of that company. The duration was 10 months between layout and final compositing. They used a high level of texture and texture line in each in each character. Now we worked very closely with that studio to develop this line texturing which Francisco is going to show you. And the new work methods alleviated tremendously the um, file transfer capability. That was a very productive uh, experience for Alphanim. Here is another example. This would be Disney working with the Princess and the Frog. Now Disney implemented a star pipeline solution where they were the hub that everything came in and went out of. And they used Yowza in Canada, premise in the United States, and a Brazilian studio that had only been in business about two years when they were chosen to work on The Princess and the Frog. Interestingly enough, in some of the South American studios, the quality is very, very high of the animation. And so they're extremely competitive when they like to hook into a production of this type. But you can see that in the US they did animation and coloring, and then all of the other things were done in, um, in the other studios as outlined here. And then this is a V-shaped pipeline that shows you another technique in uh, actually working collaboratively with other studios. And you can see how in this case they broke up the work between the three studios. So apart from people working alone, either in a boutique environment or a very, it, the large studios today all collaborate anyway. There's no question about it. And even in boutique or single user situations, you'll find that people have now a propensity to like to work with people in other countries or other cities.